There we go. I get political map mode. What's the situation that we left into? I know that Japan joined into the war. Of course, they can't go through here because I own all of this, so they'll have to do a landing if they're even capable of doing that. And Quanta Click and Yunnan are already fighting over here. Uh, Xibes and Maes mostly destroyed. They do still have one victory point there. Means that if they hold to that, they're not destroyed yet. I'll stick it around for too long though. Have to binge watch you for Ryoku vassals for one world conquest. Fair enough. That's, that sounds quite interesting actually. Right, so we got a fight going here. I think we can hold that. Got another fight going in here, and this we might be able to hold, and we are attacking over here. Got one garrison there. Militia, but I think we're doing okay on that front. Let's uh get the time ticking again. Oh, they're attacking us over here. Well we got the mountaineers defending that, and it is hills. But they do get decent bonuses, and there's another fight going on here. Okay, that's also hills, but might be a bit more risky. And actually, let's quickly have a look at the production. We are going to get uh, cavalry recon in two days. And we're going to get some infantry later this month and uh, HQ later this month. Next month we get more anti-tank guns. Now we've got all sorts of things uh, coming up. Question is, of course, can we hold the line here and slowly push them out? I know that they have the tanks here, which are a bit scary. And I do know that at some point we will be getting uh, other things. Okay, they put in some light infantry here. Probably the easiest way to get three mountains. Yeah, you are probably correct on that one. Because you don't need to worry about the aggressive expansion yourself or use the uh, points to core stuff and such. Yeah, it's probably quite a useful way to do it. Right, so where do we need these recon units most? Okay, that already has recon. That is not a bad call, we'll put it down here. That should give it a little bit extra movement, or at that... Yeah, attack and movement, yeah. Good. Now, technically what we could do, there is a gap here, we could... ...send in troops there, but we don't have anything particularly fast. Although, if I remember correctly... We do the improved security units. That is going to improve the speed of the communist militia, at least. By half a kilometer per hour. Which, frankly, would not be a bad one. And I think also we might want to have the motorcycle recon attachment. So the list goes on. As always. Right now, we are mostly holding... Okay, here we're actually holding quite well. Them here. But here it's a bit risky, We're rather low on strength. What we might have to do is send in, for example, these guys to give a bit of a hand there. We've got these two over here that might be able to attack, but on the other hand, might want to let them regain some of their morale. Uh, Japan is now involved, but they are only fighting the nationalists, so it's probably mostly going to be naval fights for now, and they might be doing a landing at some point. But I'm not sure about that. I mean, I think I did put the scripted invasions on, so they might do a landing around Shanghai or something like that. Hey, ooh. 
Now we are defending here still. They got two cavalry divisions, one militia, and one light division. Ooh, artillery brigade advance. Let's quickly have a look at that. Right, so we do have all of all the levels on that. That's actually not too bad. Also getting better artillery is always nice. These guys have dug in for 15 days, so they got a decent defensive position all there. We are attacking... Okay, our attack is actually going quite nicely. If we could get that city, that'd be nice. That's the defense here, that's actually quite solid. And same over there. Now we do have some... Oh, They are attacking... Well, they were attacking us over here, but they decided to pull back. Hmm. Oh. Oh wait, they're attacking us here. Okay, and there's probably another division there. I was wondering if that division goes low enough, we might be able to attack across the river there. Okay, so we managed. Oh. Okay, so we managed to defend this one because we brought in the militia. Now they're attacking over here, which. Oh, oh, they're attacking with the tanks as well. That is uh, bad news for us. So, which one of these has the anti-tank guns? It would be this one. So, we'll move you over there. Into the hills. Luckily, the tanks are... Love how the original border only moved one tile. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've been a bit uh, busier around here in the east. Right, so that defense is going okay. Here they are finally gaining some ground. But one of them, well, the militia is going to give up soon. There we go. I think that might slow down the rest of them. Ah, oh, bollocks, they're sending the tanks. We need to get this uh, battle done quickly. And semi-motorization of infantry. That gives some of the truck units uh, organization. That should allow construction of light vehicle. Uh, since when did National China have tanks? Yeah, there's black eyes, anything can happen. And uh, they are actually German tanks. Or German trained tanks, so probably has something to do with that. I mean, they're not usually efficient tanks. They're still tanks, so they can do a decent amount of damage on infantry. Right, there was something that I wanted to check. What did we? Oh, right, the motorization of infantry. So we can get the truck and prime mover reliability up research at least and um, okay so we got 40 projects going on and we can research 23 so maybe not put anything else there right so we got two of these divisions here now the tanks are taking huge losses or at least the uh, the organization is going down rather quickly over there that's good they brought in tanks here we are attacking with anti-tank guns so they will not be all that efficient especially since it it is urban area. They should not be quite the optimal terrain for them. Okay, two more days and we get another HQ or division. Now I'm just wondering, I do have a lot of troops here. I could probably try to take out the mountains there, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be that. I mean, it does have the fortifications mountains so it should be fairly easy to defend. I don't think I'd be able to push these guys out. Yeah at least. Over here we are we're taking a fair bit of losses but on the other hand we did push one of the divisions back already and seem to be doing quite fine on the tactics there. And a bit more into upgrades. At least the divisions that are not fighting can get the better artillery. Okay, the conscripts are taking rather heavy casualties. 
We got two of these, actually. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade one of these to infantry regiment. I'm going to put that on top. Of course, it's going to take a while, but oh, and we got the division HQ available right now. So let's have a look. Where should we put it? Got a lot of militia that doesn't have HQs. We're gonna put it down there. Just strengthen this area a little bit because they will try to push us back from there. We're kind of uh, trying to hold what we can, build a little bit more troops and hope that Japanese do something in this war. Okay, the tanks are suddenly taking rather decent losses there, so we can probably take out that city soon. And we just need to hold that and try to expand the foothold that we have south of the river. Same time, we're just trying to hold them here. Oh, the tank is moving back. Which means... Once it's out of there, we're gonna move in there, at least the militia, and then we can send in this behind it, or after it rather. We could hold that. That would at least uh, protect the flank of these guys. Then we could start pushing these uh, militia and infantry over here back a little bit. And yeah, that would open us a decent amount of uh, room around here. Hopefully I can get... Hmm, I don't really have the divisions for that, but... I'd like to push through here and then destroy whatever is left over here. Oh, well... Tank is there no more, so let's move in Militia. It's gonna take a while because Militia is rather slow. Oh, bollocks, they move in Cavalry there now. Do we have extra... No, we got one Militia that we could technically use. Okay, so we pushed the enemies back, but they moved in troops there, light infantry, so I don't think we'll be able to do that. We have this infantry here, which might be able to push. Oh, it's militia and conscripts. I have a pretty good feeling about that. Okay, so this our division here is... Uh, Wingdale Peninsula, yeah, that is something that I do plan to do. If I can just get enough troops assembled. Speaking of which, I do believe we got another division. Place it down here, and I think... We are actually out of a uh, core to put that in, so we'll just make another core. I'll assign it under Mao Zedong. Now I'll put in another... Rival division to be built. Now it's going to take a while before this is uh, actually capable of fighting, but since it is in the city, it's going to get regain the organization rather quickly. Okay, I think we might be able to push these out. Then we might be able to push over here and even over here there, then assemble troops enough to take out Yunnan, and then we won't be able to starve them because they do have ports there, two of them, but we can then start to push them back a little bit. They're still fighting us there, oh, hold on. This is a bit alarming. Move you down that way, because you're the fastest troop that we can send that way. I mean, the militia over here should be capable of defending for now. If need be, we can send in one of these over there, for example. Even up some of the troops there, and... Yeah, we are about to win this fight. There we go. They actually lost more troops than we did. They are sending in reinforcements in there. We might have to fight again before we actually reach there. And, yep. Yeah. 
Oh, right, the cavalry over there is about to be defeated, and. Oh, it's only militia. Okay, can we reach there in time now? Please? They are attacking across the river, trying to take that. I mean, if they are capable of taking that, which, I mean, I do have troops that I can send in as reinforcements, that would be bad. Also, I do recall that, yes, aluminium over there, not far away from there. Of course, we don't really need it right now, but it would be nice, nonetheless. Okay, they delayed our attack. A little bit at least. Well, no, we're almost there. Good. The rest of these just need to dig in deep and defend that hill for now. Also, how's the fight going here? Ooh, the mountaineers are a bit rough. Same over here. I mean, we are sending reinforcements though, so that should be sorted out soon. Okay, no Japanese over there. I mean, on one hand, it is good that uh, they haven't taken area, so I don't need to fight them quite yet to retake the areas at some point, but at the same time... Oh, they have made a landing over here. That's interesting. So the Japanese will be fighting down south. I'm assuming that they're only fighting Yeah, a Republic of China, no one else. Oh, the actually no. Well the conscripts over here might need to retreat, so I'm gonna send them back over there. I'm gonna send the infant Okay, well I I suppose that uh Wait, hold on. That was something else, wasn't it? It was this. Okay. Right, we are going to need a bit more in reinforcements. Just to get all the troops uh, back in full strength. Well, that might work nonetheless. I was going to send this infantry over there, but... Yeah, no, um, all of the attack. Of course, we can send in the conscripts at least. I mean, one of the militias is about to be broken. Infantry they have taking quite heavy losses. In organization at least. Not necessarily in men. Okay, five more days and we get another anti-tank gun. The defense going here. Okay, I'm gonna send this guy back there. Infantry over here can probably defend itself for a while. Resource production. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, they decided to try to attack here. Well, they lost 400 men or in like two hours and then decided to call it off. Okay, it's time to attack there. Also, I'm gonna send you there. Oh, the Chinese are pulling back troops to the south because Japanese are over there. Well, that works uh, quite well in our favor. Those there, I'm gonna move you here actually move this one move it down that way Amelia Earhart disappears and another resource production sure I'll take a bit extra resources for money and supplies okay I'm just hoping that the conscripts can arrive there in time because we might well lose this province again Yeah, well, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna put no need. We don't get those pop-ups all the time. Right. Suppose I could move one unit there. 
Basically, I'm gonna take advantage of this uh, lack of troops on the border here. Here's one... that one. Over 90 hours, that's 13 hours, so we might actually... I'm gonna send you that way. This guy, once it's ready, is gonna attack that. In Le Fung. And, oh, light military vehicles. Or military light vehicles, rather. Good. I mean, it's seeing that Chinese stretch thin. I mean, yeah, but they're fighting pretty much on every border. Oh, did they actually make a... They made a truce. Oh, oh, the bears and my are still alive. Right, so we need to send anti tank guns somewhere. Let's have a look where they might be required. Let me put it there. So, this uh, militia division here is actually rather well equipped now. At some point, I will upgrade the militias into regular infantry. And then maybe even send one of the infantry regiments out and put something else in there. Maybe, I haven't quite decided that yet. Actually, what do we have in... Oh right, they don't have uh, transports, that's what they're missing. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit more in reinforcements. They are still attacking here. But we did get the conscripts there in time, so we're gonna send in at least the militia back and let the communist militia stay there for a little bit longer. Industrial production advances. Okay, so we took that. We have this. This is it's in a good enough shape, we can move in there. We move over there across the river to push further down here. If we can get or reach this river here, that would be nice. Move this down south. These conscripts are mostly okay. Oh, hey, there's a gap here. I'll take it. Okay, so the infantry over here is defending quite nicely. Not that. Ooh, they were out of supply. I mean, yeah, they were retreating from here. It took a while for them. Let the conscripts uh, stay back a little bit. Yes, we're finally attacking the light infantry there. They do have a general, but the general doesn't have a face. Or rather, there's no picture of that general. Okay, we won that one. And technically, I could send the conscript from here, up down there, and then what else troops I have here, I can probably cut through here, and then start taking out the peninsula. Because that should... Oh, Japanese have made a landing near Shanghai now. That's going to be a race who gets most. You have that. I'm going to move you over here. You still need to rest for a while. When do we get the next... Oh, we get another division by the end of the month. The defense over here is doing fine. 
I will actually move the militia down here as well. Taking that. Good. Move you down here. We'll probably try to take out the militia here and... Actually start attacking this one already. To the hills there and then... Industrial efficiency goes up, good. A bit extra in reinforcements now. Oh, they're trying to attack us here. Well, they tried. They did not succeed though. Right, let's uh, try to take out the militia in here and try to cut off the peninsula. And their attack over here is finally giving up. Our troops managed to hold the positions. Right, we should probably set up something else to be produced soon. Problem is we don't have any air force that we could produce, not that there's too many airfields anyway. But there's some here in the east. Or near the coast, but inland not so many. Okay, we are defending that. Pretty sure that the garrison is not gonna last too long there. Ah, we captured that. Excellent. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send these two up over there. I'm gonna attack here. So we'll have five divisions basically taking out the peninsula. And we'll have some troops down here to uh, widen the gap between the areas. I'm going to attack there, attack there, and we do have this one that can also attack. Should be able to take out the militia. A bit of guard there. We're still seven days away from the division. Once we do get that, I'm going to be put over here just to try to get more land over the... Oh god, that's a lot of Japanese there. Yeah, I have a feeling that Nationalist China is going to be dead soon. Let's have a look at the surrender progress. Um, 58%. They haven't even lost Shanghai or Nanjing yet. That division is huge within the government. There's leadership for a while, that's uh, a bit unfortunate. And we won another fight, another big fight that is. Oh, they gave up here, finally. And we do have a division here. Start moving on that one. Because with two divisions over there, we can actually encircle two of their divisions here and destroy them. Oh, they're trying to attack here again. Not having good success though. And that militia is almost taken out. Pushing on both of these provinces already. They might be able to get the cavalry up there before we reach that. Yep, they did. It's not going to help them. I mean, it is going to delay me, but... Not going to help them all that much. 